As an entrepreneur, it can be easy to throw in the towel if you don't have a support group of people who are in the trenches mm -hmm. and honest about their experiences. That's why Kristen Darga founded Impact Founder, to connect entrepreneurs to authentic stories that empower them to keep pushing towards their goals. Kristen's gonna tell us about her program and some of the incredible things she's been working on. So Impact Founder, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so I started Impact Founder as a project. It wasn't ever meant to be a business. Um, I, I saw a lot of different struggles in the community and mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and my friends and my clients as a coach. And um, there were a number of suicides that had happened, um, oh. about three in the matter of a couple of months um, around the country. And I just tuned into what was happening with entrepreneurs and that it's not always easy, it's even when your business road. is going well. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I started Impact Founder, which is authentic conversations and storytelling about um, what it's really like to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, successes and challenges. And like I said, it's not always when your business is struggling. Sometimes your business is doing incredibly well and you're having a personal struggle. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah. When I looked at some of the stories, it was really remarkable to see that some of these people, and I like, I think that's kind of one of the points of it is to kind of show the juxtaposition of the fact that, you know, yes, I sold my business for a million dollars, but I'm struggling with depression and I'm in the middle of a divorce. Right. And these are things that happen that no one really talks about. We, on the outside, we just see, oh my God, they just made a million dollars. Right. But we don't know the struggle. And it makes it look like when we are going through the struggle that there's something wrong with me. There's something mm -hmm. wrong with, you know, what I'm, wh what I'm going through is unique, mm -hmm. but it's not. <laughs> well, it, it is, everyone's unique, right? So we have that, our, our struggle has our own things that we have on it that we put on and our life is different yeah. than someone else's, but yet, a lot of the conversations that I have had, the, the recordings that we've done on audio, you know, the photos that we have in the quotes, um, they, they tend to repeat the same stories. Yeah. So it, they may sound a little different, but they're all very similar. You know, uh, this year is the first full year that I've done um, two Denver Startup Week events. Uh -huh. And it, they, those were, um, those had a lot of, um, a lot of stories in one spot. So I yeah. recorded a lot for one event. And at that event alone, you know, we, we had people reading what was written before going, oh, wow, that's like exactly what I'm going through. And yeah. that was really great to see that that's exactly what we're doing it for. So people mm -hmm. can relate to it and build a community. It's a connection. Yeah, totally. Totally. So this is an example of one of our pictures yeah. here. Um, Brad Feld is a local um, VC. He founded um, Techstars and Foundry Group. Wow. And he actually talks about when his business is doing well. Um, and then he had a significant depressive episode that lasted about six months. Oh my god! And so his quote is about that, you know, just yeah. being strong and being able to share that. Um, he encourages people through his blog and through different areas to be able to share what's really happening. So your investors know if you have investors, yeah. um, because your investors actually want you to succeed. They want you to do well. They're investing in you. Yes. They're not just investing in your company. So, so you tell these stories both through images like this and yeah. then how else are you uh, I, I think I've seen on your Twitter channel you have kind of the images there how are they being shared yeah so we have uh, galleries that we curate for uh -huh. different spaces um, we also rent galleries we uh, we share on social media so um, Instagram Twitter a lot of Twitter yeah. um, we also share on Facebook we have not only the pictures, but we also have audio stories. So we're, we're oh, sharing a little bit more in depth. Yeah, yeah, so, so some of the pictures just have quotes, sort of like Humans of New York, and then some of the other pictures have um, short audio stories. Okay. People can submit from all over the world. Wow. And that's why we created this, this, um, this pilot to be able to tell stories through audio. So we just have a format people can um, go through and share their story from anywhere. So what's been one of the most impactful stories mm. that you've heard? Wow. I, so I think the most impactful story that I've heard wasn't actually shared through Impact Founder. Really? So, so people share stories with me um, on the street, you know, in meetings that aren't necessarily about telling their story. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, I had people uh, reach out to support me and what I was doing and share about, you know, how 
the experience of, of seeing me build Impact Founder and even participating in one of the pictures in the past mm -hmm. had opened up a part of their life that they'd been hiding from. Oh. So this one individual, um, he went on to, to do video like stories of his own. So he wow. he opened up about, you know, almost taking his life by suicide and oh. just um, being incredibly strong and powerful and real about um, that time of his life, which he'd yeah. always kept really hidden and close to him. And he said that sharing that just completely empowered him. And, you know, he thought it'd be something that people wouldn't relate to or mm -hmm. want to know about him. And he found that people actually, um, you know, encouraged him or reached out to him about their own things that they were dealing with. Did he talk about how people responded to him? I mean, what do people say love. when you share? Beautiful. Yeah, just community and love. I mean, that's the basic sense, you know, of what we're doing is building community so that you don't have to be alone or isolated. Yeah. yeah. So you can keep making change. And that's an awesome example of someone who went on beyond Impact Founder. You know, he mm -hmm. has, he was in the original exhibit and, um, and, and now he's he's grown, you know, that authenticity in his life. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's built this community around him. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for sharing a little yeah. bit about Impact Founder and what you're doing. I think it's amazing, and I'm so glad you're out there helping to support entrepreneurs in this way. Thanks, Crystal. Thank you. <laughs>